When I'm at school or I'm at home like I am now, there are many different birds that I see in my neighborhood and in the sky, in the park, and at school. I've noticed that they come in different sizes. They come in different colors. Do you notice the birds? There are some birds that are covered in black feathers from their head to their tail. They are all black. Do you know the names of those birds? Well, some of them are called crows. They are covered in all black feathers. They make a sound like this. Caw! Caw! They're about this big. You often see them in big family groups. Um, and they are very smart. A group of crows is called a murder of crows. Crows have a cousin. Their cousins are called ravens. Raven is also a black feathered bird. They are bigger than crows, sometimes twice as big. They're usually more like this size. They are very smart um, as well. Ravens make a lot of different sounds, but the sound that you hear most often from a raven is sort of a croaking sound, like croak, croak. I don't make very good raven sounds, but you'll hear them and you'll hear a difference between that and the caw caw of a crow. A group of ravens is called a conspiracy of ravens. This is a picture of a crow. This is a picture of a raven. A crow it's smaller. A crow has smoother feathers around its neck. When a crow is flying above you in the sky, you can see its tail feathers make a straight line like this. Here's a silhouette of a crow flying through the sky. Now this one has a little bump in its tail feathers right here because I think it's adjusting. They use their tail feathers to help them steer. But when you see a crow, it's got straight or nearly straight tail feathers as it flies. A raven is bigger. A raven has a ruff of feathers around its neck, almost like it's wearing a fluffy collar. A raven's beak is thicker and its wings are longer. When a raven is flying above you, you can often see that the tail feathers make a v shape. like the letter v. v, we call it, but the sound is v. Now, this one has a very rounded tail. I think it must still be taking off. It adjusts as it flies. I know that there's a v sound in the word raven. So that helps me remember that the v-shaped feathers are on the raven. Crows and ravens eat all kinds of things, fruit, seeds, insects, even small reptiles, but also bird eggs, food scraps that humans leave lying around, even dead animals that they find. An animal like a crow or a raven or a human who eats meats and plants is called an omnivore. Crows and ravens are very smart for birds. They can learn and remember and figure out simple problems. They even sometimes use stones or sticks as simple tools. Crows and ravens are good at copying sounds. This is especially true of ravens. Some ravens have even learned to imitate the sounds of human voices. Wouldn't it be surprising to hear someone say hello and look up and see that it was a raven? So this week, see if you can spot ravens and crows in your yard, if you go for a walk with your family, You'll probably notice other birds too, but see if you can look and look specifically first for the crows and the ravens. You might even be lucky and see a few of them soaring over you in the sky. Can you tell which one is a crow? Remember, that has the flat line on its tail feathers, or a raven that's got the v shape on its tail feathers as it flies. So figure out how many do you see? How many crows do you see? How many ravens do you see? Can you tell the difference? Do you see them alone 
Do you see them in small groups? Do you see them in big groups? Can you hear them? Can you hear a difference? Did you hear a crow? Caw, caw. Did you hear ravens? Crock. <laughs> Let's see, you got to listen for a real raven. Sometimes ravens even make a clicking sound like <coughs> Listen, you'll hear a lot of interesting sounds. While you're out there, look at those other birds you see. Birds come in different sizes. They come in different colors and patterns. Draw some birds. Imagine what birds would be doing right now as the weather's warming up. Some might be getting ready to build their nests. Some may be looking for food. Some may be warning that there's a human nearby and letting other birds know to pay attention. So have fun, do your bird watching, and enjoy looking for crows and ravens this week. Thank you.